Hello everyone, this is Mark with YamaUSA.com and this is my favorite master element. Take a look at how beautiful this watch looks like on the wrist. Now this model number is YMHF0102. You can see it's an absolutely gorgeous piece. Let me try to get as close as possible to the camera without any reflections. And just see how it looks on the wrist. Take that, take a look at that. Absolutely bold. This case is 49 millimeters, folks. Okay. Now, if you include the crown, it's 55.5. All right. I just wanted to show you the the sheer scale of this watch. I mean, just so you know, this is a quarter. And see how dwarfed that quarter is next to the watch. That. All right. So it's definitely a bold statement. That's why you wear a Yema. All right, so what I'm gonna do, show you how to take it off, just like any other regular uh, leather band. It's really nice that they have the, the Yema logo on the buckle, and they have this beautiful white stitching on this leather. The case back does have the Master Elements print on it, let you know that it is one of the more extreme watches that this that Yema makes as well as the model number right there on the case back. All right, let's take a look at this watch. And uh, one thing you'll notice is that it has just a lot of things going on for it. Here are the typical start, stop, split, reset buttons for the chronograph, the crown to adjust the date as well as the time. And you're probably wondering what this is right here. That controls the inner slide rule and this over here, after you unscrew it, adjust the the outer bezel. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna leave these unlocked. What I want to do is unscrew the start and stop button of the chronograph, as well as the reset and split. For those who are unfamiliar, if I go ahead and press this button, you'll see that what normally is a second hand works as a stopwatch. Press it again to stop it. Press this one. To, to reset. Split is the only other function which allows you to measure two or multiple races at the same time. Start. When the first person uh, finishes, you press this button. Now you can record as four seconds. Uh, the race is continuing, so it's going to catch up to what if it, as if it never stopped. I'm going to press this again. Split. Get the second person's time down. They continue the race. And finally, the last person wins at 20, uh, not wins, but across the line at 20 seconds. Then after you stop it with this, you, this button will reset the chronograph. All right, folks. So this is Mark with YamaUSA.com with YMHF0102. Thanks very much.